All right, I'm going to be doing this kata, uh, SQL basics group by day. There is an events table used to track um, different key activities taken on a website. For this task, you need to filter the name field to only show trained events. Trained events. events should be grouped by the day they happened and counted. The description field is used to distinguish which items the event happened on. So we have the events table, ID, name, create a description. Um, the expected results is provided so you can see what the expected output is supposed to look like. Your actual output needs to match the expected output. Um, the way I like to do these is I first like to take a look at the table. So select star from events. I'm going to do a limit five just so it'll it's kind of like using a, like a dot head. And so the expected results are provided. Oh, okay, so we have a day, the description, and then a count. Um, difference I don't need to really look at. But the first thing I want to do is I only want trained events. So I want to do a filter where name equals trained. Where name equals trained. Just going to kind of do this slowly one step at a time. So just trained events now. So that looks good. Um, I want to do a group by, by the day that they happened. And something I noticed here is that this is a timestamp. So I just want to grab the day to do that. Um, I just, I'm going to grab created at, and then if I specify date created at, that'll just grab the day. It'll extract the uh, time from it. If I did this right. Yeah. So this was the original timestamp. Here's what the day looks like. Um, and I want to grab that day. So I'm going to grab that. So they created a, and I want to call that as day. So as day right there. Um, I want the description, description, and I want to do a count star. Um, and I want to do a group by this day so um so group by and i'm going to be still doing the where instead of a having uh, a lot of times you'll see having with a group by the reason i'm doing a where is i want to do this filter before i do the group by if i do a having that occurs after the group by so that's why i'm doing a where here instead of a, a having a having again would go afterwards um, so group by date created at, and I got a capital C, but I also want to group by the description as well. Description. And let's see what happens. So cool. And it looks like it matches and there's no difference. So grabbing the date, grabbing the description, doing a count from the events table where name equals train. So filtering out just where the values in the name column where it's equal to train, then do a group by on the date in, uh, in the description. So let me run that, make sure it works. So cool, it passed. So that is my solution. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.